Okay. So we have the, in my bedroom, uh, this painting by Han Sullivan the Younger, The Ambassadors uh, from 1533. And you can see these two men and uh, on the table in between them, some uh, a lute and a globe and very expensive um, uh, exploration objects and a very pretty curtain in the background and a bunch of interesting stuff. Uh, actually, there's a very tiny sliver of Christ in the background there. Um, but definitely the most interesting feature of this photo is this, or of this painting, excuse me, is the anamorphic skull in the And you might not even be able to tell that that weird yellow or weird white black smudge in the painting is a skull, uh, but in fact it is, and it's meant to be viewed from a specific angle. So I've anchored this painting to this spot in my in my bedroom, and I set up this little uh, panel right here, and it very helpfully informs you, stand here and look up to see the skull. And in fact, you can see that from just this vantage point, we can actually see the skull. If we go further, then the painting begins to blur. And again, if we make the angle less than that against the painting, it begins to look like a weird smear. And in fact, from over here, it looks even weirder, I would say. Um, so this painting is really interesting because it requires sort of being in front of it and being at a very specific viewing angle that's not easily capturable. Um, most people learn about this painting in a book um, or see see the see this transformation in a video, uh, but I think this AR demo is really powerful because it demonstrates the ability to take a historical object, um, blow it up into something like life size, uh, give you some added context, and allow you to actually experience um, a experience a version of what you actually want to be doing, um, of what you would actually want to do with the painting in front of you. So yeah, I think it's a really powerful use case for AR, and I hope to be, I hope to be able to build more stuff like this in the future. Uh, yeah, that's it.